look up um, what sanctuary means, both in medieval times and in the 80s, what it meant to people from war-torn countries coming to the United States. When laws are unlawful, how do we have justice? And that's our point. How do we have justice? And our college has the power to create forms of justice for our students. And I'll tell you, I love Chabot College. This is my family. I love the Board of Trustees. I love my Presidente. I love my Vice Presidente. I love this school because I believe in it. And if this sort of piece is not passed when all of us put so much energy, I will be disheartened. I will be sad. And I'll show up in a different way at this school. I'll still come with love, but I will be sad. But I'll still come. Um, so anyways, I love you all, and, um, and it's with this that a lot of passion that we want this to be called a sanctuary campus. Buonasera e grazie a tutti. Thank you. All right, next speaker, if you can please uh, give us your name, state your name. Hello, my name is Sunny Alvarado, and uh, I wanted to speak mostly about the Board of Trustees having their last meeting at Chabot. I do feel very relieved that uh, Mr. Mr. Jin that just said that the Board of Trustees is going to have their last meeting at Chabot. I feel very relieved and I thank you for declaring that. I just really hope that we see that all the way through. Um, and with that Board of Trustees meeting being at Chabot, uh, we're going to actually, I feel more relieved because the Board of Trustees is accurately representing the whole student body. By being able to listen to Chabot, Chabot's voices um, with the last Board of Trustees meeting with the change of location being changed less than 10 days before, uh, which is clearly a violation of the, the board's own policy. Um, Chabot students have felt that they were denied the platform to come and voice their opinions. But uh, now that we're gonna have the Board of Trustees at Chabot, uh, we, don't, we don't feel like we're being denied anymore. And it's just great to see that we're gonna be accurately represented and I hope that you guys uh, have a lot of time when you come over to Shabbat. There's going to be a lot of people speaking. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. Please state your name. Three minutes. Hi. Good evening. My name is Juan Cortez. Um, <clears throat> I'm here in solidarity uh, with the students and faculty in agreement with uh, making Chabot a sanctuary campus. Um, echoing with uh, what my friend Sonny said, I'm, I'm, I'm relieved that the next meeting is gonna be at Chabot. Um, I honestly felt that uh, before it was sort of just being deliberately sabotaged um, by not, <coughs> By making it difficult for students to to reach Dublin or Livermore at peak traffic, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, there's a lot of people that couldn't make it today. Um, I'm more here. I'm here to talk to the people who I guess are concerned about um, the defunding of Chabot. Uh, I've heard that brought up a lot. Um, Don Heller, who's a, who's a financial expert at uh, UC San Francisco, says that they cannot be defunded, universities cannot be defunded, um, simply, simply because it goes against the, the right to freedom of speech, which is a constitutional end. Um, yeah, man, I, I just, I don't, I don't get why we're still having this conversation. Uh, I feel like, I feel like it's, it's clear. I feel like, yeah, I feel like, yeah, enough said, man. I'm done. Okay. I didn't get your name, uh, sir. What was your name? Sure, I didn't get your name. Joan Cortez. Okay, I don't believe I call your name, but you're, you spoke you, you did. Name. You did. You, you, yeah. mis, uh, you mispronounced it. Oh, okay. It's, it's wow. a, it has an umlaut on the O. Oh, okay, I see it here. Yeah. You're right here. All right, got gotcha. you. Thank you. All right, next speaker. Three minutes, reminder. Good evening, board, everybody. My name is Lorenzo Caballero. I am a student at Chabot College. 
also a student senator as uh, the chair, the ICC chair on the student senate from Chicago College. Um, I wanted to first state uh, definitely on behalf of the student senate and uh, as a representative uh, and, a, and a student of Chabot, our solidarity with Las Placidas. Uh, there was a comment made last meeting by Chancellor Jackson that a reason why the sanctuary resolution was not on the agenda was due to a lack of response or a resolution from uh, Las Positas. It didn't seem like Las Positas were very, was very aware that that was a reason why the item was postponed on the agenda. It did seem that as soon as Las Positas was aware that that was even a reason, they reacted within a couple of weeks, a few weeks, rather than a few months. We are in one district, and we cannot be divided by manipulative, divisive attempts to place blame in order to cover up negligence of our security of our sanctuary resolution. It does make some sense not to make a decision for, for a district without full support of the entire district, though. Again, it did seem that they were unaware. So I do, again, want to express our solidarity with Las Positas. Uh, I do again, uh, I want to, uh, not again, but I want to thank you for the opportunity to have a meeting at Chabot. We need regular meetings at Chabot. Our last meeting was uh, May 6th, about six months ago. Uh, I want to ask you all, how is the voice of Chabot going to be fairly represented without a regular meeting at Chabot? I am, a, as a concerned student, suggest that we alternate the Chabot Las Positas Community College Board meetings. We have three locations, one month Chabot, one month Las Positas, one month the district for fair representation. As a student, I have to study for finals, exams, labs. I'm a senator hosting ICC meetings every other week, uh, organizing events, organizing people to come to district meetings for the change in location last meeting. As a concerned student, I respect you to, actually no, as a concerned student, I was going to ask you to change it, but I thank you for changing the meeting uh, next week to, to Chabot. Um, yeah, me and my peers at Chabot really do deserve and uh, appreciate the opportunity to effectively participate in the democratic process. Thank you. Thank you. Hello everyone, my name is Taufa Setefano, and I am a student at Chabot. I am also a member of the Justice Arts Collective, Change It Now, and TRIO. I just wanted to thank everyone for this opportunity to speak. Just to be here, just to be able to share time with you all is a blessing because this issue does need to be discussed. It's very important to many of the people that are here because we're here to represent. And I don't know anything about codes, this California's Values Act, but other than that, we need to speak about values because that is what it's, that is what is in the name, values. What are our values? Do we value people expanding their horizon when it comes to academic success? Do we value what we need to do when it comes to people that are voiceless, that do not have the right to say what they should be able to say? Are we allowing them the time that they need to come to these meetings? Are they even feeling safe to even come here? I just feel like I'm here to represent all of those that are voiceless because as a first generation student, I come from a family of hard work and I know many of us do. And there are other people that go through more than we do and they are still silenced. An award-winning author named Arundhati said, there's really no such thing as the voiceless. There are only the deliberately silenced or the preferably unheard. And we're here to be heard. We're here to represent all of those that are voiceless, that are deliberately silenced. And we're here to say that we want Shabot to be a sanctuary campus because they need the opportunities they need to be heard and they need the experiences that they aren't offered. Thank you. Thank you.
Actually, before the next speaker starts, I would like to call the next five speakers. Mich uh, Michelle Gonzalez, Maya Siti, Maria Ramos, Aker Puga, and uh, I'll call this name one more time, call that name earlier. Uh, Diana Puga, you've been um, the one here by that name. Okay, go ahead, sir. Mexico. I came when I was uh, 18 years old, and um, like uh, three years ago, I uh, decided to come to Las Cocinas to study uh, years of classes. And this, during the last uh, years, I've been like learning that. And after that, I decided to uh, study like business administration. Closer uh, to the mic, my friend. We can't hear you. Okay, thank you. So um, I'm here to um, asking the more of trustees to pass a resolution for, uh, for a sanctuary campus at Las Pesitas College. Um, I'm an immigrant from Mexico. That I came very young. I pay for all my classes. I don't ask for any um, financial aid. Um, sometimes it is, it is hard, um, but I think that uh, education is very important. Um, so, I'm also um, talking for the thousands of um, young people that um, they're not going to be able to um, keep studying because uh, their DACA is expired. So, uh, I feel like um, international students should be uh, not afraid of being arrested, especially when there's a on campus or especially if they want to study. Thank you. Next speaker. My name is Michelle Gonzalez and I am the I teach English here at Las Positas College and I am the Puente program coordinator and um, I would like to speak about the BAM and the Sanctuary City. Um, resolution and status at our college. I will speak about that first um, since I'll be following up this young man here. Um, first of all, I would like to urge the board to adopt sanctuary city status.